Hi guys, welcome to our video 3.8, Calculating Moles and Reactions, our last video in Unit 3. So what I'd like you guys to think about for a moment here is think about like when you're cooking something in the kitchen and you have a recipe. And all right, let's say you find a recipe for corn tortillas that makes eight of them. And the recipe calls for right one cup of the uh, masa harina. Quit making fun of my pronunciation and about a half cup water and, and that's gonna make eight tortillas but what if you wanted to make 16 tortillas what are you gonna do what if you want to make four tortillas what are you going to do All right if you want to make 16 you would double everything if you wanted to make four you would cut everything in half so to make 16 you would do two cups of the flour and one cup water. If you wanted to make four tortillas, you do a half cup flour and a quarter cup water. Well, we have to do the same kind of thing in chemistry. Okay? And the technical thing we have to think about in chemistry is what's called mole ratios. Now, a balanced equation shows mole ratios. For example, here we have the balanced equation 2mg plus O2 yields 2mgO. Right, there's two magnesiums on the left, two oxygens on the left, two magnesiums on the right, two oxygens on the right. So the ratio is two to one to two. Two magnesium to one oxygen to two magnesium oxide. Okay? And remember, it's the coefficients that are in the mole ratio, not the subscripts. Okay? So if we wanted to say so we could use this to say that there's two magnesium for every for every one oxygen or two magnesium for every two magnesium oxide. All right, example, given the equation 4NH3 plus 5O2 yields 4NO plus 6H2O. 4 moles of NH3 will produce how many moles of H2O? Well, 4 NH3 will produce 6 moles of H2O. Four, 6 moles of NH3 will produce how many moles of H2O? Now, it's a little more complicated, so now we want to show some work. So we have 6 moles NH3 will produce how many moles H2O? But now we got to go back to doing what you want over what you got. We want moles H2O. We've got moles NH3. Well, now we can just plug in our mole ratio. 6 H2O to 4 NH3. These cancel. And we have 6 times 6 is 36 divided by 4 equals 9. Two moles of NO will require how many moles of O2? Well, we're going to do the same thing we did before. Two moles NO is going to give how many moles O2? Do what you want over what you got. We look here, moles O2, five, because that's what's in front of the oxygen. Moles NO, four, because that's what's in front of the NO. So. 2 times 5 divided by 4, and we get 2.5 moles of NO. Question time. All right, given this equation, how many moles of aluminum oxide would be needed to make the following amounts of aluminum? All right, so set up the same way as I did before, and don't forget to use the mole ratio here. All right, that brings us to the end, and I will see you guys in school.